The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Daniela's struggle with epilepsy. Seven-year-old Daniela has debilitating epilepsy and can suffer up to 30 seizures a day. Her seizures have been monitored, and she is now being considered for surgery to remove the part of her brain responsible for the epilepsy. Uh, those are coming from temporal lobe. Daniela must first undergo an operation to place a grid of electrodes on top of her brain. She will then be tested to pinpoint her seizure center and determine where her language skills are located. You know what? I got. Up a bit I gotta put this band on. Doctors must be able to remove the part of her brain responsible for the seizures without destroying her ability to speak. Let me cover up the fingers. Cover up the fingers. They do children all the time. Let's do it here. I don't want okay. to do it. Close your eyes. It's okay, you've got this. Sometimes I have too much. Sweetie, you're okay. Now she on three counts. One, two, three. Girl, and you know what? Now you get to watch mommy and daddy get it done too. Oh yeah. <laughs> you gonna hold their hands? No, she's fine. Correct. No, you're mommy, done. Mommy, do you wanna just stay there or I'll do you yeah. next because you're right there? Yep. I know. You give mom a big hug and you talk to her, okay? Tell her not to look. Don't you Tell move her. either, sweetie. Tell her not okay? to look. That's okay. You're okay, Vanessa. <laughs> Nobody moves. Except Are you for the mommy. middle middle for me too? On three. One, two, three. <sighs> okay, mommy. Open up. Open your head. Yep. Okay, don't move your hands any lower now either, sweetie. I okay. think it's mommy. Mommy's brave? No, mommy has the same blood type. You think so? You think? <laughs> That's what we're going to find out. You got it. Great. Excellent. Thank now you. it's my turn. I'm going to hold your hand. Oh, thank you. Oh, one, three, daddy. One, two, three. Good. Thank you, ladies. That's cute. Both of them. Oh, hands away. Mommy and Daddy have the same blood as me, right? That's what we're finding out, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? Hi. So today's the day when you can ask uh, questions about the uh, invasive monitoring procedure, which we hope to do. Do you have any questions for the doctor? He's the one that's going to be doing the surgery. Nothing you can want to ask him? Are you cutting the hair where the part you're doing? Cutting your hair? Yeah, we had a nice talk with your mom and dad about that. So we're going to, uh, to see if we need to cut your hair or not. That's a good question. The goal of the operation is to map the functional or critical parts of the brain so that we can find out where the seizures are coming from, yet spare important areas like her language skills, uh, motor function, sensory function. That is the reason why we have to do this in two stages. Right? So the first operation is to do the exposure, place the grid on the surface of the brain, record from that grid over a period of about five days, and then after we have mapped out exactly where the seizure focus is, and then remove the seizure focus without interfering with normal parts of her brain that are subserving important functions like speech, language, motor skills, etc. You'll be going through a protocol of being weaned from the anticonvulsant medications prior to the operation so that she has the best chance of having a number of seizures uh, before the second stage. 
uh, and we hope to capture between 5 and 20 seizures during that week of monitoring. Uh, I know we've asked already some <clears throat> questions, but I don't think I asked this one. If there's any chance of brain damage with surgery, either one? The, uh, the answer is yes. The second stage, we're going to plan to resect the seizure focus. So by itself, um, even though that may cause some brain damage at that location, that part of the brain is not functioning normally anyway. All it's doing is causing her seizure, so it's best to get it out of there. What do you do if she has seizures during the operation? It's not uncommon for children to have seizures during the procedure itself. But fortunately, no. she'll be under anesthetic and you won't have to worry because the anesthetist can keep things under control for us. I understand she's been having a lot of seizures. Yeah. yeah. Right now we're averaging about 30. 30? A day? A day. That's plenty. It's time that we get on with things and to help her with her seizure problems. Okay. okay, and I'll see you mid-afternoon, all right? Talk to you soon. All the best. All right, thank you. You watch her for me? I will do. <clears throat> okay, honey. We'll you have to go with Linda. Yeah, do you want to give mom and dad a big hug? I love you. You're going to be fun. I'll see you in a little while, okay? Give me the kiss. The kiss. <laughs> Hey, sweetie. Hey. Ah, that's a girl. We'll see you when it's all over. Okay. You get to open up the big doors. Would you like to open up those big doors for me? Okay. See that square button over here, Daniela? Daniela. Can you push this? Push it real hard. Oh, look at that. The doors are going to close. There we go. You bring Snowy? Snowy, so nice and snowy white, isn't he? Oh, here it is. D. Here we are. Come on. I'll be Position so the head's up a bit. It's got to be temporal mostly and want it to lie mostly flat a bit. Okay, guys, let's try that. All right, gentlemen, so let's mark out our, our flap. So this is the actual size of the grid that we'll be laying on the left surface of the brain. We need suctions on. Okay, away you go. You have to go straight down, huh? Good. Nice. Lovely. And that should hang back. Now you got the whole brain exposed. Beautiful. Have a pickup, please, with teeth. Okay, just look around. Just underneath. Okay, let's see where we are. That's, yeah, see if we can mark that. It looks like that may be the posterior extent of it almost. So on your 3D image, that looks like that's just at the back end of the spikes, cluster of spikes. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so now we just need to lay on the grid, right? Okay, gray on the grid. There we go. Hey guys, what do you think about this? So we have the 
grid underneath this uh, numbered template with the wires coming out of it. Do you want to just do numbers, guys, or do you want to yeah. do... No, yeah. just one. one. Number one? Do numbers. Yeah. Number okay. one. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Number one. Here's number one. Just stand back. Okay. Okay, next one. 58, here it is. Okay. okay, looks good. Okay, we're going to close up. Bone clamp. So we need a 2-0 suture for the bone. Do you have those? Yeah. You can tie these in. And again, these are going to come out. So it's just really just allowed to hinge. Okay, now we're passing the wires that are recording electrical activity from the grid through the scalp. Okay, that's great guys. So what we plan to do from here is to uh, finish closing. The patient will go to the intensive care unit where immediately today we'll start capturing electrical activity from these wires. And having captured many seizures will be in a good position then to map out precisely where the seizures are coming from with the hope that we'll be able then to cut out the seizure focus so that she doesn't have seizures anymore. Uh, so anyway, everything went great. We're just finishing now. Uh, we did everything we said we would. We did the exposure on the left-hand side, um, and we placed this large grid about the size of my palm on the surface of the, the brain. Now we're hoping that she's going to continue to have multiple seizures. She's been having many since the medication's been yeah. tapered off. With Daniela, we don't know, but we anticipate capturing seizures almost immediately, knowing what she's doing uh, without her medications. Okay, yeah. any questions? No. She's had three seizures already. Three seizures already? Three okay. seizures already. Yeah. But you didn't get them obviously, right? No. That's okay. If she's already revving up, it means like she'll have some clusters. I think they're just in the process of discussing the medication, so I'm presuming that they're going to start the fentanyl pretty quickly. For the pain. If she can sleep her way through this week, all the better. Kids have very little memory of this week. Hey, sweetheart. We're just talking about you. I'm really to see you. Yeah, I just came to say hello. She looks, she looks so frightened. Yeah. She looks so frightened. She's going to have a seizure. Yeah. Get out she of the just, way. That's why she's... Yeah. Okay, that's why she's... Uh, okay. Actually, she was about to have it. That's why she awakened, I think. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, then I'm here. Okay. Mommy's here. Oh, okay, sweetheart. Mommy's oh, been here. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, you just missed your right. seizure. Oh, About another 10 one. seconds ago. Now. Yes. Very brief. Okay. It's, she woke up with a very scared look on her face and immediately started. Oh, okay. dear. How many is that now that she's had today? Uh, one, two, three. She had 805, 814, 823, and then two more. She had uh, 12, 12, and 1250. Yeah, no. Two, two o'clock. So she's having them in her usual little clusters. Clusters. Fewer yeah. than, than she was having at home. Okay, well, she's really behaving like a champ for us with all these she is. She seizures. Uh, I think she may even be setting a record for us. Erin, <laughs> what so, do you think? I uh, think so. I think they're analyzing some of the data up there, and I wouldn't be surprised if after functional mapping tomorrow we'll probably, if we're, if we, if we're yeah. successful in, in getting her language, then we may actually be able okay. to stop the Just monitoring. Okay, disconnect. Good. Good. Okay, and then the plan from there is to map tomorrow, and then once we have the entire map, get together with you and discuss the uh, possibilities for a resection afterwards. Some color in here. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we're going to do anterior first, so uh, 
Yeah, you need to speak into the mic. You hold yeah, the mic up to your mouth so we can hear you. Right right now. Now. What color is this? Red. What's this one? 46 or 20. Yellow. Red. Good. What about this one? Red. What color is that? Red. And this one? Red. Good. And this one? What's that? Can you say that one? Um, Good. And this one? Um, off. Okay, and she, that was... Yellow. Yeah, yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just as you were saying off. Um, yeah, she didn't have anything, she didn't have anything here. It's unlikely she didn't have there. Okay. So we'll have to take the boys. Yeah, I'll try. Okay, six to six. Six to six, two girls. All right, we're going to start up here this time. What color is that? Blue. Turn it upside down. What color is that? Um, yellow. What's that? You're thinking? Yeah. What happened? What color is that? Good. Good. Yeah, perfect. So that's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, six, six. Like Danielle, guess what? We're through. Yay! <laughs> Dr. Sneed will bring you the prize. That's right. <laughs> <Good time. laughs> oh. Peace connection. So we got all the information that we needed. Yeah, Steve. Great. We're set up for yeah. 5 o'clock tomorrow <laughs> to talk about things. Oh, that was a special one for you. Sweetie. Too tired to talk. Too tired to talk now, eh? You don't have to talk now. Yeah, you're finished. No. Okay. No more talking. I think this is the last one. Can you want more of that thing? So, Dr. Uh, Atsubo uh, captured 70 seizures at 70, uh, and the seizures come to one extent or another from all of this area of brain, but they're most intense in this area, okay, particularly in here, in here. And where you see the circles is where we got uh, function. and. Uh, in this area, we think that there is a small amount of language because this is the only place where she consistently made errors in the colors. When she was naming the colors, she made a couple of mistakes. Uh, and where we got the language is also appears to be involved. So um, what our recommendation is, is that we remove this part of the brain back to here, all of this. And then we put electrodes down and we see if there's seizure activity coming from here. And we see how things look and then we make a decision at the time of surgery tomorrow about whether to take 66 or not. This is a real uh, dilemma whether to take this part of the brain or not because if, if you took it, I think that the chances of her not having seizures and the surgery being successful would be greater. But there is that risk if we take this part that she would have trouble talking after surgery for a period of time. If you don't take 66, what would, what would her chance of seizure control be? The best case scenario is that she's seizure free. Um, the next best case scenario is she just has a rare seizure which is easily controlled with medication. But there is the, the potential that this won't work. There's always the possibility that, that it won't work. Uh, but I think this is such an, uh, such an invasive and aggressive procedure, and she's gone through so much this week, I think that we need to maximize the chances of this working. And that's why uh, 
the tendency of our group, our, our team, is to be as aggressive as we can because this is really a la her last shot for seizure control. If we go with your recommendation right now, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Don't forget him. There you go. Morning, Morning. Daniela. Hi, sweetie. Yeah. But she looks good. And I, st I heard that she was still having a, a few seizures, even though she's back on her medication, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, last night, she was, weren't her typical seizures. It was just like, she'd hardly move at all. And her heart heartbeat would just go up and then come down. And then this morning, she's had three of her more typical ones, but very mm -hmm. short. Okay. And that's been since, she had two earlier on at around six, six o'clock. And she just had one about 10 minutes ago. Okay. Now she's having a, a seizure right now. Yeah. And hopefully they go away forever, okay? The surgery to remove part of Daniela's brain is minutes away. Don't have that much longer to wait. Although the focus of Daniela's seizures is dangerously close to her language center, the operation may be Daniela's last chance for seizure control. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Daniela's struggle with epilepsy continues.